Hey Chris, Seth David aka Nerd here and I wanted to respond to your video on what do geeks smell like or for that matter what do nerds smell like. Um, unlike you, my experience has been that I, I have put on fragrances in the morning, I've done it for years and I've found that when I do that I, um, I get a little bit less of this. This is before I was married of course and I was just dating but by putting on these fragrances I would, uh, when talking to ladies, I, I got a little bit less of this. So, with that said, I wanted to share with you some of the fragrances that I have grown to love over the years, and some of them I've, I've grown to, to, to really love. Um, the first one, I was hesitant to get it when, when it was first introduced to me by my wife, because it's made by a company called Clinique which is better known for its women's fragrances. And did I say fragrances, like Elma Fudd? No, fragrances. Uh, and because of that, I was hesitant to get it because I, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get a woman's fragrance. But I was relieved to find out that it was stated very clearly on the bottle that this is for men. Let me uh, zoom in there a little bit so you can focus and see better. But you can see it says it right there. There's the proof. This is for men. It's called Clinique Happy for Men and it smells really good that's really what convinced me to buy it I, I sprayed it on and and I smelled good and when I smelled good I felt good I had more confidence and you know I was able to go out there and now that I'm married it's not about using it for women but it's just about feeling good and, and smelling nice the second one that I've had that I've gotten for years I've gotten this over and over again comes in some very strange packaging I'm sure if I wasn't a nerd and I was a, a fashion expert I'd probably understand this a little better but nevertheless, it comes in a can that looks like what you'd see if you bought a can of baked beans and peeled off the label. It's sort of a tin can with some ridges on the side, and then inside that can you pull out the bottle, and the bottle is essentially a man's torso, and this kind of freaks me out a little bit. So I don't take this one out of the cabinet too often, but I do use it frequently because it does smell nice. I'm, on, I'm often complimented on it when I use it. And this is Jean-Paul Gaultier, and as you can see, it's a it's shaped, the bottle is shaped like a, the torso of a man, and he's got uh, quite a package on him. So uh, that's why it kind of freaks me out a little. And last but not least, when I really want to feel manly, I break out the Kenneth Cole Black. And this is, you can't go wrong with this. This, is, uh, this, will, this will actually get you out of your geekiness, and, and at least for the time that you're wearing it, it'll, it'll turn you into a man. Almost guaranteed. That's not their claim, that's, that's my claim. Anyway, so that's, um, that's my two cents on what does a nerd smell like. I, I hope you appreciate it.